Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're bringing you another armor guide. This one is for Knight Errant, another YouTuber. And as always, the link to his channel will be down in the description. He covers a wide variety of medieval topics, from armor and weapons to events and people. It's very interesting and I definitely recommend you check it out. But as always, we're going to be starting off with weapons. So let's just see what kind of weapons Knight Errant is going to be using. So for weapons, I kept it real simple. And as I found a lot of pictures and different videos of him using some Something that looked a lot like what I can assume is a poleaxe. I can't be certain, but it looks like a poleaxe to me. And since we don't have a poleaxe in this game, the closest pole arm I could come up with the with was the Lucerne Hammer. It's similar, it has a hammer on one side and a blade on the other, and a spike on the top. So it's gonna be similar to a Poleaxe or even a Beck to Corbin, but that's what we're gonna be going with in here. It's a, definitely an excellent weapon. And with that, as a sidearm, we're gonna be pairing the Needle, as I found some pictures of him wearing a short sword that looks quite a bit like this. His scabbard's red, and the uh, hilt doesn't appear to have the spiraled wrapping, it just looks like a static wrap. But this appears to be pretty dang similar, and it's a nice little arming sword. And then, of course, finally, a dagger, because everybody needs a dagger. So that's weapons. Let's put on the clothing. So for clothing, I actually went to one of his videos, one where he shows how long it takes to put on an entire harness of armor, which is a very good video, and I definitely recommend watching it, because it helps dispel a lot of the myths about how long it takes to, you know, put on armor. But from that video, I was able to put up this clothing. So I started with a signet ring because first of all he's married, or at least I'm pretty sure he said he had a wife in that video, so rings seem like something he would probably have one of. A short quilted jacket because it looks a lot like the gambeson he's wearing in that video. A padded coif because now he doesn't put a coif on in the video, but when he puts on his helmet it has padding in it and it looks to be about this color. And there's no way for me to just attach it to a helmet or there's no helmet with the padding on it so I added this coif just for the feel of it. So there's that and then blue hose because in the video he's wearing blue hose. So that's the clothing so let's put on the next level that would be the padding and mail level and see what he looks like. Now unfortunately for Knight Errant he does not seem to be wearing padded chosses or mail chosses in the video so I did not include any of them. Uh, he does put on a reinfor or, or a mail collar and I think it looks like the reinforced mail collar so that's why I added this one and he uses a shirt of mail that looks pretty dang similar to the short common hauberk, uh, the one with long sleeves. I considered using the long noble hauberk, but unfortunately that is a style that kind of seems to lace up along the far left side of the chest and the one that he's wearing does not. So I want the short common hauberk for this. So that's the middle layer. Let's put on the top layer and see what he looks like all together. So for the top layer, we were able to put together something that looks pretty dang close to what he wears. Now there's a few things missing and we'll talk about those, but first let's go through the pieces. So the pieces are the Kutenberg cuirass, the hound skull, the Milanese plate chosses, the Saxon plate pauldrons, and the Aachen gauntlets. And now I'll explain each one of these. So the first problem is that in this game you cannot actually wear the male, I believe in his uh, uh, harness it's called an Aventail, but uh, it's basically the male, the piece of male armor that connects to the helmet and comes down and protects the throat. Uh, if it was a plate piece it would be called a gorget. Uh, you are not able to wear the male coifs in this game like that. They don't go over the armor like his does. So that's the first problem with this armor. Another one is uh, the piece of armor that I believe is called the rondel is the one that goes in your armpit there and kind of protects that gap when you're using weapons so that way when you bring your arm up you're not totally exposed there to a slice it actually protects decently well his harness has that there's no option to use that in this game the only place you see those in this game is on sir divish's parade armor he actually is the only person in the game that utilizes that type of armor now if you're wearing a male shirt it's not totally essential to wear those because the mail actually protects you decently well from slashing and most piercing damage in that region. His harness has it and this one does not, so I had to explain that there. The final thing is the uh, the gauntlets. Now his gauntlets look pretty similar to the Aachen gauntlets. They've got a tiny little bit of gold right across the knuckles, a little bit around the, uh, or I should say brass or gold or something like that, an accent right around the wrist. There's nothing that fits it perfectly, but the Aachen gauntlets are pretty close. So in summary, this is pretty darn close to what his harness looks like in real life. Like I said, if we could pop that male coif, if we could put that on and put it over the armor instead of under the, uh, I should say over the plate instead of under the plate, then it would look almost perfect. So for the value of the suit of armor, we have 9,063.4 groschen, putting it right near uh, a pretty affordable suit, I would be, I would honestly say, because we're looking at a full suit of plate armor here, one that has decent stats and looks really nice and it's under 10,000 groschen that's actually pretty dang affordable so that's not bad for value uh, for the weight we have 80.1 pounds putting it right in the normal zone for heavy plate armor in this game uh, now it's not ideal because we're not wearing 
male chosses, which would definitely improve stats on the suit quite a bit. And we're not actually using a full male coif, we're using just the male collar. Uh, so there's a few things missing from the suit, in my opinion, that uh, would bring the weight up if we added them. But as is, that's right near the low end of the heavy armor weight class. So it's nothing out of the ordinary 80 pounds is decent. And then for the AAR or average armor rating, we have 84.75, which is pretty dang good. It's shy of being a, a tank, as I like to describe it. When you reach 100 AAR, that's tank class. So that's almost indestructible. But 84.75, that's almost... Al almost 85, that's pretty dang good. There, like I said, there's a lot of things you could do to improve this if you use better male and obviously more leg protection and a, a little bit more comprehensive head protection, that AAR would be up near or over 100. But as is, we're looking at about 85 for the AAR. So all in all, not bad. It's not super expensive. It's not overly heavy and the armor protection value that you're getting from it is decently high. So since we're already using our Lucerne hammer, we're going to go test out the suit and see how much damage we can do. Unlike a lot of the other people that I've done videos for, this one's going to be pretty high damage because we're starting off with a pole arm. So let's just test it out. All right, let's knock on the front door. This. Let's... This, the the Lucerne Hammer is actually one of the best pole arms in the game. Now, I prefer the spears because usually when I use the pole arms, I'm just using them as a thrusting weapon. Uh, but the Lucerne Hammer also is a decent thrusting weapon, but it also is much better at, you know, obviously bashing and slashing. There we go. In a very short amount of time, we've taken out uh, two bad guys there. I guess we'll put this guy out of his misery. There we go. Let's see if we can't uh, corner another one or two of them without drawing too much of attention. It's hard to test a suit like this when you get swamped by like 20 or 30 people. Oh, he said to swear. Look at that. See? Two stabs. Not too bad, honestly. Yeah, honestly, that's a hella good jabbing weapon considering it's basic, basically a hammer. I'll try to t yeah, I was gonna say, I'll take this guy out without stabbing him, and then I immediately killed him. Well, Knight Errant definitely did a good job of picking his weapons. Ah! Don't kill me too fast. I was gonna test out the sword. So yeah, that's what we look like all said and done. Now, obviously, we've taken some battle damage here, and had to run away, but, uh... Yeah, I think it looks, honestly, it's a very classic looking suit of armor. It gives off some real uh, Sir Ulrich vibes. But yeah, this is Knight's, Knight Errant's suit as best as I could remake it in the game. I didn't get a chance to test out the uh, the needle in that uh, the combat section there, but trust me, it's a pretty dang good uh, arming sword. But if you're going to be going historically accurate, you wouldn't use the sword unless you absolutely had to. You'd want to stick to your pole arm until it was no longer a viable option, because as you could see from that demonstration, it just makes such short work of even heavily armored and well-trained people like the Rite guards. So yeah, that's basically the whole video. I hope you liked it. Hope... Hope you think it, I did a good job, those of you, because there were several people that were requesting that I do this specific guide. I hope you think I did a good job, because I think it turned out pretty good. And as always, if you have any other recommendations or requests, anything you'd like to see me recreate in the game, definitely let me know down in the comment section. And like I said before, the link to Knight Errant's channel is going to be in the description, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.